to show you my sweet bunny rabbit and my crystals back there, but you can't really see, I don't think. But it's some little chickens and eggs and crystals from the Ganges and the little altar. And I guess on Easter, you know, it's about working from the heart and increasing our faith and letting our ourselves become strong in the face of all this adversity, as it were. Um, it's too loud? I can hear somebody. So, I invite you to play along with us today. We're going to stand up a little bit because I think as the weeks wear on, we really end up sitting down too long. <laughs> and um, I think it's... Uh, I know it's important to stimulate and activate, otherwise the stagnation leads to depression and we don't want any of that. So let's rub our hands together. Welcome the wind and the blue sky and the beautiful flowers and all the little chickadees and little cockadoos, I guess is what they are. And take a nice deep breath. Clap your hands a little bit, make some noise in your house. I hope the dogs don't come running. Jump on you, take a nice deep inhale. And on the exhale, softly cup your palms over your eyes, straighten the spine, relax the shoulders. Breathe in and breathe out and invite yourself to cultivate an intimate relationship with your breath. Invite yourself to mute yourself for this class because I still hear some rattling around. And invite yourself to gather in as we are together to strengthen ourselves, to align with the divine, to open our hearts even larger and more fully. Let's rub the hands again together. Take the, your left palm and put it two inches away from your forehead and take your right palm and put it on the top of your head. Breathe in and breathe out. And then turn your right palm to the sky and press upwards like you're patting on the bottom of a cloud. Keep your left palm in front of your forehead, center of your head, the intuition, the cyclops, the six chakra. Pulse that right palm up to the sky. Breathe in, breathe out. And then take both arms up to the sky, look up to the sky, and exhale, come down nice and wide. And easy, you're gonna sit cross-legged, and you're gonna spin your, it's so bright, spin. <laughs> Ernesto's doing a wonderful job. Going to spin your body around. Try the other side, baby. And then spin the body around the other direction. You know how to do this one. And inhale and lift up. Exhale your head back, tongue out. Inhale up. Exhale, soft breath out. Inhale up. Exhale out, soft breath. Inhale, tongue in, head up. I have raspberry tongue. Inhale a little more. And exhale the right hand down by your side. Lift up and out of the waist and pulse off to the side. We forgot to cantilever forward. And then one more. And then easy, come up and spin back and forth. Ah. Twist, twist, twist. You know how to do this. We want to move through this one. And then easy, turn to the right side and dive on down. Let your head drop, your elbows up. Stomach is in, torque your body, anchor your left leg, and easy, Michi march around, go beyond the left thigh, ah, twist the body, loosen your jaw up, sit strong, in strongly, I suppose is English, in your right bun, at your right bottom. Some of you have very interesting ceilings, I must say. <laughs> and then Mitchie marched back into the center, shimmy and shake.
Sweep your arms out, up and overhead. Twine your thumbs. Inhale a little more. And then exhale, cantilever out over the front of your mat. We'll just put it in right here. Nice and long spine, ears between the upper arms. Really put some energy in your fingertips and anchor your tailbone. Breathe. And then inhale, lift up, look up, and round back behind your tailbone. Stretch your arms forward, pull in your stomach. Spread and open those mountain gates. And then inhale, lift up. And exhale, slide on down to heart line. Pause for a moment, close your eyes, and let your thumbs nestle at your breastplate. Scan the body. Invite yourself to find that yoking, that union, that joining of the body, mind, and spirit. You know this familiar pathway as we enter into the void. The pathway is to gaze within, to meander through the interior landscape, to find yourself, to love yourself, to let love rule spread around the planet. Easy, slide the hands down, shift the feet. And easy. Seven breaths up. Big bird. Breathe up. <laughs> so bright. I know. Oof. Blinding. One more. Inhale, lift up. Twine the thumbs and spin the ribs around. I hope that you've been able to get outside a little bit. Spin the other direction, massage the organs. Use the Sunday morning to celebrate the rising dawn, the rising sun every morning. This rebirth, I have my butterfly legs on. Inhale, lift up. And we'll go the same way. Left hand's gonna go down by the knee. You're gonna lift up and out and pulse. Oh, I'm stiff. Ah, easy breathing. Keep yourself just opening, feeling that range of motion in your body. Ah, and then back up and let's go for the happy cactus and the spinning. I'm glad you're paying attention. I can see my little cheat. Yeah. Because I got you confused today. And then easy. Let's end up with the left. Dive on down. Elbows up. Crown of the head to the floor. Stomach is in. The floor. The beautiful grass. Stomach is in. Torque your upper body. Use your fingertips to give yourself an extra twist in the upper torso. Pull the stomach in, all the crackers, all the cookies, and then Mitchy march around. Stretch the spine, go beyond the right leg, stretch the body, look over your right shoulder. Oh, see how pretty it is, it's so pretty. Ah. Some of India, some of Jesus. I don't have any matzo bread there or that flat bread. Come back easy, shimmy and shake. Sweep the arms out, up and overhead. And exhale, humbly slide on down your heart line, dedicating this breath to your mind, to the sweet, energized body, to that aspect of creativity, curiosity, of the impulse for increased generosity and compassion, for that universal acceptance, that willingness to look at things from a different perspective, Breathe in and breathe out. Find yourself solidly anchored in your heart. That precious alignment with the divine. That increase in your faith. And easy. Stretch your arms up overhead. Twine the thumbs. Inhale, lift up. Tongue back. I mean, tongue out, head back. Ah, inhale. Exhale. Ah, inhale. Exhale. Ah, inhale. Head up. Stretch up. Can't leave her out. Stretch. Look out over the world. 
be like a large bird flying. Anchor your tailbone, your outer thighs. Lift your chin off the notch. And inhale back up. And again, slide down your heart line humbly. Nestling your thumbs at the breastplate. And then easy letting the hands go onto your knees. Now close your eyes. And we're simply going to breathe a pulsing breath, the Kalabhavati breath, where you put your hand, if you wish, on your belly button. In the olden days, in the other studio, we used to take the finger and stick it in the innie or the outie and push the belly button back to the backbone. And you can close your eyes and breathe. We're going to try and stay for about 30 seconds. Just releasing the disorganization, releasing the anchoring, releasing anything that's going on in the mind, breathing. Now try ten times out the nose. Bounce your belly button to your backbone. Ten more. Ten more. Ten more. Last ten. Breathe in the arms overhead. Exhale, slide down your heart line. Open the palms out onto your knees. Palms are up. Put the forefinger and the thumb together. Close your eyes and roll your tongue up to the top of your upper teeth. Up to the palate. Press upwards towards that center of your skull. Breathe in and breathe out. Listen to the quality of your breath, the beating of your heart, the easiness of self. Be kind to yourself. Sit softly. And easy, inhale the arms up and overhead. Keep circling through your ether body. Exhale, slide down the heart line, gathering all that energy and sweetness right into your little precious heart. We're gonna roll over onto all fours. We're gonna roll over into child's pose. Kind of move around a little differently. So undo your knees. Sit back carefully, remember to add some Props if you need, if you can curl up something underneath your knees. I don't know if you'll have pools, but open the knees, touch the big toes, walk the hands out, and bow down. Let your head bow down easy to the earth. Let your breath move into your belly. Let your breath be strong and easy. And in this place, we do bow down. We bow down in gratitude. We bow down in humility. We bow down and mobilize that energy that is ourselves, that kundalini, your chi, your life force, that cerebral spinal fluid. You let that energy flow up towards your head. You relax yourself. Exhale the tension. Surrender to the earth. Let the mother heal you. Let the mother give you strength. You want to inhabit this body, to strengthen the body. We want to strengthen our spirit, expand our generosity. 
Now easy, dig your fingertips in and lift up your palms and your wrists and shake out your shoulders. Loosen your head, loosen things up. Lay the hands down, come up onto all fours and pull the knees together. So you know how to do this, you love this. You're gonna curl your toes and round your, press the back of your heart up to the sky. Flatten your feet, swing your tail up to the sky, drop your belly, slide your heart forward, wag your tail. Ah. Kind of a exhaling, rounding that cranky cat. Stretch your body, use your buns. Flatten the feet, swing the chest forward. Shoulders are back, hands are strong, and again, round and open. Round and open, articulate the body. And then wag your tail, wag your head, shake it out, because I know you don't do this when you get out of bed. Curl your toes and shift your hands around. I know you've missed me. We haven't done this in a while. So you cry, baby, cry, 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 because those little fingers will be going like this on the computer. Put the thumbs to the outside of your mat, your fingers towards your knees, curl your toes, round your back, sit back towards your heels, and breathe, please. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Exhale through the front of the forearms. Are you crying? Should I look at you? I'm going to look at you. Are you crying? I hope you're crying. Oh, look, you're all round. Round and back. More back. That's good. Crying. I don't hear you crying. That's good. You muted yourselves. A lot of fans on the ceiling. I must tell you. <laughs> Three more breaths. One. Now they look right in my butt. Two. And three. And sit back on your toes, or your heels rather. Undo your hands and remember this part. Ah, strong fists. Exaggerate it, kids. Exaggerate it. Flick off all that, all the germs. <laughs> Flick off. Really pump your hands. You want lots of good circulation. You know, I've noticed in the 90s, the extremities are far away from the heart and they begin to become weaker and less agile. So let's work for it. Even if you're only in your 30s or your 40s or your 50s, keep the hands going. Now, yay, to the disco we go. The swim, breathing, and go the other way. Ah. Ah. Oh, I feel cracking it so nice. Elbows high, elbows high. You don't want flab under your arms. You know, the ball gowns are going to come back. We'll be going to balls again. And then easy. Shake it out. Come forward on your toes and toe fists. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Ch -ch -ch. Strong, strong. Open and close. Open and close your toes. Oh, happy Easter. Bloom, 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 bloom. Shake it out. And easy. Let's see if we can slowly come to a standing position. First, you're going to sit back on your curled toes. Palms are nice and big. Organize yourself. Activate the midline. Pull your knees up to your chest. Look through your thighs. Get your buns up there. Rise way up onto ten toes. And begin to pedal. Breathe in, breathe out. Let those valves of your heart change their relationship with gravity. Circulate and bring some fresh, oxygenated blood into your brain. How's that? Breathe in, breathe out. First, we have to go into plank, though. You remember plank. Bear your own weight. So, one hand comes up. One hand comes up. One leg comes up. One leg comes up. Hang out there. Seven breaths. Don't give up. Shoulders roll. Fingertips are pressed. Inside of the forefinger and the thumb. Belly against the backbone. How many is that? Four. Five. Six. And seven. Nice. 
Soft on the knees. Elbows in. Buns up. Bosoms down. Decompress your gut. Mm -hmm. Slide your legs back. Flatten your feet. Slide your elbows forward. Rock your hips. Proud sphinx. Roll the hips. Roll the shoulders. Reach through all your feet. Slide your heart forward and look over your right shoulder to your heel. Breathe in, breathe out. Look over your left shoulder. Oh. Eyes are wide. Chest is back up in the center. Now roll the bosoms down and stretch your arms back. Reach back towards your heels. Breathe in, breathe out. Just easy. Strengthen your back. Strengthen your buns. Strengthen the back of your legs. Reach through your fingertips. And easy. Roll on down. Cross your arms. Let your heels go out. Lay your head down. Breathe in, breathe out. Stay where you are. Breathe in, breathe out. I need you to feel that surrender to the earth, that belief in the support of gravity, of the mother, that humility, the humbleness it is to bow down. Change your arms and turn your head to the other way. Let your heels drop out so that you release the lower back. Breathe into the earth, breathe into the side ribs. Feel your breath moving. You guys got to mute yourselves. Breathe in, breathe out. And then easy. We're going to slide back into the center. Back into proud sphinx. Exhale, roll down. Hands underneath the shoulders. Elbows are in. Come up onto all fours. Shake out your tail. Look at your hands. Activate that midline. Get that area between the creases of your thumbs organized. Simply inhale. Take your, if you want to curl your toes, you can. Take your right arm and your left leg. Work your brain. Right arm, left leg. Breathe in, breathe out. And lower down. Open up and close. Back to flat. Inhale, left arm, right leg. One more breath. Pattern in the brain. Easy, lower down. Inhale, open up. Exhale and round. Inhale up. Lower down. Bring your right knee to your chest and drag it forward to the front of your mat. I hear somebody. Yeah. Okay, I can't tell who it is, but somebody's unmuted. Oh. You guys are so good. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'm not good at this, so. Inhale, lift up. Hold on to your right thigh. Roll your shoulders down. Sweep your heart forward. Easy. Pleasant. Lovely. <sighs> Thank you. There's so many birds. But easy. Lift your left arm up. Lift your right arm up. Look up. Strong legs. Slide your hands down your heart. And let's go to the side a little bit. Move that right leg in and take both arms to the outside of the thigh. Now, if you're a little bit wobbly, you can get yourself organized. Try and roll off the kneecap. 
It's an easy, put the palms together and look up at your right elbow. Lengthen the neck, breathe in, breathe out. Anything touching the earth is good for your support. Are you good? Good job. And then easy release. <laughs> Hands by the front toes. We're just gonna <clears throat> hinge the bottom back towards the back heel. Now you can curl the back toes. Pull the front toes towards your nose and kind of wiggle your hips because you can sure feel it in that thigh, yes or no. Thank you. Good. <laughs> and then easy, come forward. Oh no, your favorite. <clears throat> Fingers are lined up by the front toes. Lift up the back knee. Lift the buns up. Those of you that are able, without breaking your toes, reindeer hop. Shoom. Reindeer hop. You have to lift your rump. Rump. <laughs> and again. Easy. Flatten the back foot. Scoot the front foot forward. Lunge it in. Lunge the back thigh. Scoochy that back foot so you have a large distance between your front heel and your back knee. Hold on to the front thigh. Drop the shoulders. So many. Breathe. Now hold on. Root in. Root in. Right arm lifts up. You can just hold on to your left knee and lift your right arm up is fine. Or you can add your left arm. Look up. Lift your chest. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lunge down. And slide your hand down. Easy. Here we go. Pull the left knee in. Take the right elbow to the outside. Turn the body. Oh. Breathe in, breathe out. Here we go, back to the center. Front toes to the nose, rump back to the back heel. You don't have to go very far. Keep your arms forward so you can just wiggle your hips. Drop that left hip towards the ground. Breathe in, breathe out. And then easy, go ahead back into the lunge, curl the back toe under, step that right foot to the left foot. <sighs> Hold on to your thighs, straighten your elbows and lift your heart, lead with your heart, lead up with your heart. Relax the body. <sighs> Very good, I can see you. Lift your chest up. Give some space through the gut. We want to elongate the spine. Then walk the legs together. Press the knees together. Happy cactus. Breathe, easy. Go ahead and try it. Strengthen these thighs. Chair pose. Five more breaths. Go a little deeper. Lift your chest a little more. Feel that spaciousness in your breath. A little lower. Three. Two more. Wow, wow. Inhale, lift up. Yay. I can't hear you crying in relief. Twine your thumbs. Stretch up. Press down on your feet. Inhale, lift your chest. Push your hips forward, lift and look up, lift and look up. Just a little arc back. Really stretch your ribs away. Lift up towards the heavens. And exhale, slide your hands down your heart line. And don't tip over. Stretch your, open your feet slightly and stand in mountain pose. Palms are forward, eyes are closed. Feet are underneath your hips. Breathe in, breathe out. Let your eyelids be heavy. 
look through your body. Easy. Notice the beating of your heart. Notice the softness of your face. The smoothness of your lips. Notice the blessedness of self. Let those winds blow through your interior. Soothing, activating, energizing, flushing, mobilizing. Find your shoulders over your hips. Find your feet rooted into your mat, into the earth, into your floor, into the grass. Feel that entire outline, the little toe line, your heel, every toe. Give yourself an arch, lifting in the legs, pubic bone, one quarter or a sixteenth of an inch towards your belly button. No compression in your lower back. Shoulders are down, palms are forward. This practice. This practice. We allow ourselves to be radiant, valiant, fearless, so grateful. And in that global psyche, we want to reverberate with the clapping on the streets at 7 p.m. in New York. The incredible gratitude that's flowing around, the incredible heart space that people are feeding the kids. People are taking care of each other. Breathe in and breathe out. Anchor your feet, arms float up and overhead. Exhale, slide down your heart line. Nestling your thumbs at your breastplate. Scanning your body. Feeling that magnificent place of calm and energy. That ability to move in any direction. That ability to receive Easy, let's push down the feet, lift the arms up, and exhale the arms by the side. Just stand easy. I want you to step to the front of your mat. And again, let the arms float out up and overhead and land down on your heart. Soften your face. Make sure your chin is parallel to the earth. Bend the knees, stretch the arms forward, and go out in a T and step back on your right foot. Now move that right foot back and lift the right heel. Make sure your left knee is lifted and just do a couple of dips. Just some dips. Dips. Open. <laughs> dips. I guess they're called dips. Easy. Arms overhead for you thrill seekers. You know how to do that. Three more. One, two, three, and then easy, bring the arms together and bow forward. Crouch over, get yourself little and low. Stomach is in, stretching out over the edge of your mat. Then land the back foot and open up the right arm so you end up in warrior two because you know how to do this. Warrior two. One more. Good. Lower the arms and stretch the front leg. Both legs are nice and straight. Move your shoulders around. The rebirth. The extension of your intention. Easy. Let's just softly go into triangle pose. So the arms float up. The hips push to the back of your mat. Your lower ribs reach out frontwards. I'm actually reaching west towards the mountains and then just tip over. Let your hand land on your 
shin bone, unless you're a thrill seeker and can keep your integrity in the body. And then you can wrap your top arm around your lower back. And lift your head and roll your shoulders. Breathing in and breathing out, please. Release that right arm over your ear. Right leg is anchored. Breathe into the right ribs. Float up. Exhale into warrior two. Good. Keep something happening in your chikimula, in your chest. Take your back arm to your front arm, over your front leg, over your left leg. You're going to lift your fingers so that they go up over the top of the trees, the top of your windows, the top of the mountains. And we're going to send that universal prayer. You're going to pull back like on the bowstring. Like you're going to release an arrow of love and light around the planet. Your elbow stays high. You sink into your front leg. You lift your chest. You breathe. And breathe some love around the planet. Breathe the healing. <coughs> breathe that gathering. Breathe in, breathe out. Send some love to those of yours that you can't hug. Send some love to those that you don't know that could use some hugs and some good juju, some good energy. And easy. Back hand to the front hand. Open up to warrior two. Turn the palms and just reverse. Slide down your back leg. Breathing in, breathing out, good job. Front knee is bent, back leg is straight. Looking up at the heavens, breathing in. And then the old windmill, or the young windmill. Windmill on down to the ground. Step into plank. Oh no! Drop your knees. Elbows stay in. Keep breathing, kids. Drop your bosoms. Keep your buns high. Slide your legs back. Proud Sphinx, recuperate. Rock your hips. Recuperate. Rock and breathe. Roll on down, hands underneath the shoulders. Back up onto all fours. Easy, step your left foot forward. Drop your right foot, hold on to your front thigh, lift your chest, oh, is this the same leg? No. Yes? Thank you. Shh. <laughs> That's when I need you. Easy. So you're in warrior two. Breathe in, breathe out. Set your warrior, angle your shoulders, roll your thighs, drop your tail, lift your pubic bone slightly to the belly button, reach out through the side body, feel that extension and that power, easy. Go ahead, inhale, straighten the front leg on the exhale, hips to the back of the mat, and tip over. <sighs> tip over, easy. Tip over easy. Don't do what I'm doing. Tip over easy. Stretch down, little one. Good. You can always rest on your front thigh. Just feel the legs strong and anchored. Feel yourself stretched and breathe. <clears throat> then easy. Inhale into your right rib cage. Float back up. This is the same side. This is the same side. You guys are going to have to figure it out. I'm so sorry. It's one of those uber dyslexic things. Alright, so that means that you really should have your right leg in front. We just would have tipped over. We're going to come back easy to warrior two. It means your right leg is at the front of your mat. So you can just turn your legs if you wish and keep yourself in line with your video or your tablet. Breathe in, breathe out. So we've stretched. You're going to stretch the leg. You're going to tip over three breaths only. Two. Three. 
Inhale, lift back up. Oh, you know, I so left it out for you guys. Oh, no. So, you're going to twist to the front of your mat. Rotate the back leg so the knee is lifted. I mean, the heel is lifted. Both hips are facing the front of your mat. And you're going to dip that left thigh down because if you've been hiking, it's going to be sore and you're going to need to walk around. Stretch it out. Three more breaths. One, two, three. And then easy. Arms overhead. Slide on down. Open up into warrior two. Gosh. This will be easy though now. Check your back leg. Check your front knee. Check the space between your legs. Your shoulders are down. Your back hand is going to come to your front hand. And easy. You're going to just stretch over that front knee and round. And then you're going to lift up. Fingers are going to go over the top of the windowsill, over the top of the house, over towards the mountains, over the top of the trees. You're going to pull back on a bow. An arrow of love is going to go around the planet. Sink deep into your front leg. Lift your chest. Practice sending from the center of your forehead. Shoot that love out over your fingertips. Breathe in, breathe out. Ah, that's good. It's mixed up. Keeps you alert. Three more breaths. One. And two. Send that love out. Send that love out. Big gratitude. Easy. And back. Easy. And windmill on down. Step into plank. Drop your knees. Drop your chin and your chest. Your elbows are up. Keep your buns up. Slide your legs back. Slide your arms forward. Rock your hips. Breathe in. Breathe out. And roll on down. Easy. Come back up onto all fours into picnic table. Shake out your tail. Shake out your head. Shimmy. Cross your ankles and roll down on your backs. Get yourself organized so that you're comfortable on your backs. You can take a little sip of water. You can tuck your knees into your chest. You guys are doing pretty well for now, though. It should be quiet now. I guess it's just no farting. Lay down on your backs. Hi, Paul. <laughs> Lay down on your backs. Tuck your knees into your chest. And simply hold on to each kneecap with your palm. Tuck your knees into the chest and roll the knees around like we're used to doing. Give yourself some mobility in the hip joints, that synovial fluid, that area that we complain about after we're 35. Circle the knees in the other direction. Make sure you're breathing, luxuriating melting into the earth, staying soft focus. Drop your feet onto the floor with the knees bent. Open the knees out, soles of the feet together, arms overhead in happy cactus. If you have shoulder issues, you know you can always keep your hands on your belly. If you have knee issues, you know that you can keep the soles of the feet, you can straighten out that leg that's so, not so good bent. Let your arms be easy. Let your eyes close. Let your throat relax. Breathe in and breathe out. The exaggerated exhale, the rocking of the pelvis. To empty the lungs, you push on your feet and flatten your belly. Rolling the body. Rocking, stretching, massaging, 
encouraging the movement of your chi, of your life force, all those nadis, those pathways in the body, opening and closing, strengthening the immune system, rocking the body, breathing large. And then easy, flip your arms over and grab the outside of your thighs. Take an inhale. And when you exhale, push the knees together. Jump your feet to the outside of the mat and stretch your arms straight overhead. Long. Open up those lungs. Open up your ribs. Again, your knock knees, your feet are on the mat, the knees are bent, your arms are straight overhead. Two more breaths. Exaggerate the breaths. Really feed your body the oxygen. Breathe into the marrow of your bones. And then easy. Go ahead and bring your arms to a T. Inhale and exhale. Let both knees drop to the right side. And that lower right foot jumps on your left thigh. And you feel that opening, that extra heaviness as you angle the lower back and the pelvis. Be conscious of your tightness in any parts of the body. Don't hurt yourself. Just let the weight, the reaching, the subtlety, that old muscular awareness. Breathing. You can often feel a stretch inside your gut. Lower gut. Breathe in, breathe out. Exhale the belly back to the backbone, down to the mat, unhook your legs and bounce your hips. Bounce the pelvic bowl down on the ground. Boom, 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 boom. Break it up. Any of that stagnation, especially all this sitting and slouching on the couch. Bounce, 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 bounce. <sighs> Give yourself every opportunity to be vibrant, passionate, super healthy and alive. Separate the feet. Arms overhead. Three breaths. One. Knees against each other. One more. Arms off to the side. Inhale. Exhale, both knees drop to the left. And that left foot jumps up on top of the right thigh. Now remember, if you are, have some issues, especially if you feel any pinching in your lower back, go ahead and tuck your knees up above your waist. If you feel a strain in your top shoulder, you can bring your arms over and curl like a little kid sleeping. Breathing, opening, spiraling your body, full range of motion. Be interested in your ability, the range of motion of the body. Start the breath big, exaggerated, just pump it. Remember, everybody's on the ventilators, everyone's on the oxygen, everyone needs more oxygen. Breathe in. The air is clean. It's a beautiful, beautiful Easter day. Exhale. Lower your back onto the mat. Unhook your legs. Bounce your hips. Easy. Tuck your knees into your chest. Rock the knees slightly. Drop your feet onto the mat. Put your arms by your side. Palms are down. Arms are right next to your body. We're going to try and invert at any level you're able. 
those of you with props and goodies, you can just pile a bunch of stuff under your rump and let your legs stick up to the sky. Those of you with the ability to kick your bottom and grab your bottom slightly, keep your elbows have bearing the weight and your shoulders, just lift your legs so that they're up above your heart. Those of you that practice and enjoy a full shoulder stand, you're welcome to go. Just hold your rump up. Let the soles of your feet open to the heavens. Let all that energy pour down like a waterfall. Reverse the flow of gravity. Keep the breath going so your oxygen is strong. Keep the weight on the back of your skull and your upper arms. Breathe in and breathe out. And then drop your feet over your head, bend your knees, and slowly roll down. Let your feet drop onto the ground. Keep your arms by your side. Stretch the legs out. Lift your chest up and drop your head down onto the mat. Fish pose. Expose your thyroid. Open your throat. Squeeze your wings together. Easy fish. This is easy. We're just rolling the body, range of motion, increasing our healthiness, our happiness, our holiness. Lift your chest up to the sky. Pull. Breathe in. Lift your head up easy. Open up your legs and let your arms go by your side. Palms are up. Settle down for a moment. Settle down for a moment. Stay flat on your back. Notice the pulse in your body. Notice your pulse. The heartbeat. Notice that circulation of the breath, of the warmth. All that pranic juice that surges through you. Feel the tingling in your fingertips. Feel the spaciousness in your ether body. Feel yourself soft and easy. Laying on your backs, easy. Breathing in and breathing out. You notice the exhale of any residual tension in your body. Just relax your body, settle down. That alertness, that inner alertness and amazement at how we operate, how the vessel, how our temple operates. Independent of the analysis of the mind. Practicing that art of witnessing, of observing how your heart beats, how your toes and fingers tingle, how that ether body, that skin is breathable, and the sweetness that's in your ether body. Your lips are plump, your face is smooth. You're gonna soften yourself. You're gonna let yourself be, simply be. It's like recharging your battery. It's like finding that relationship, that conversation with your guides and your gods. It's finding that ability to receive and to listen. To give yourself that little extra inner strength. That strength to be unwilling to lose your mind. Stay in that place of faith rebirth, willingness, blessedness, kindness, 
magnificence, practicality, we shy away from insanity, I try to find the sweetness, that honey of the honey bees that rolls through our veins, through our pathways, that soothes and smooths the exterior body. I'd like to move you through your hip before you wake up. Well, actually, you have to wake up a little bit. So, the bells were always to bring importance to self, <laughs> to try and pull in that all-present energy of the gods, of your guides, your friends, and your ghosts, to pay attention to you. So, as it rings, bring your breath into your belly button. Breathe into your fingers and your toes. Wiggle the fingers and the toes. And then on your exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Bring the hands in there to your heart and gather in all that sweetness, all that love, all that light, all that abundance, all that sense of rebirth, that sense of camaraderie and community, that gratitude I have for you all and you have for each other of joining in this morning. And then you're going to lace your fingers and twine your fingers. You're still flat on your back. And stretch your arms up and overhead. Stretch the palms away from your crown so you feel, feel nice and long. Step your straight legs together. Point your toes and push your heels and wiggle and open and close, you just go, wow, so happy to be alive, happy spring, and exhale, bring your knees into your chest, and then drop your feet on the floor, stay on your backs, take your right foot over your left thigh, arms inhale up and overhead, you know how it goes, Exhale, thread the needle, grab that left thigh, tuck it into your chest, lay your body down and just finish off with your hips ready to hike, be wild, dance, sit, meditate. Stretch that left leg up to the sky. You can move the hands a little further if you wish. Otherwise, just feeling that opening in your right hip. And then bend that left knee down and unhook your legs. Bounce the hips. Take the left leg over the right thigh. Inhale the arms long overhead. Take the full breath to elongate the body and the spine. To exhale, fold in. Grab the right thigh. Tuck it in close. Push the left thigh open. Drop your head. Breathe in, breathe out. I hope you're breathing because it seems very quiet. You don't want to be sleeping right now. Keep breathing. You're going to enter into that electric field where you're smooth and sweet like the honey of the honeybees. Right leg straightens. Easy. Easy. And then drop that right foot, unhook the legs, give yourself a hug, tuck both knees into your chest. Arms go out in a T, all ten toes are facing the earth, the feet are flexed, the knees are close into your chest. You're going to roll to your left side above your waist. You can roll all the way over and hug yourself and then open up that right hand so you shade the sun from your eyes. Spiraling the torso, opening up the last of anything that's coagulated or caught, sticky, keep breathing, and then easy exhale, roll back onto your back, arms are wide and in a T, inhale, 
Roll to your right side. Oh, I have a hard time. Uh, roll to your right side. Knees are above your waist. You stay down on your backs. I'm sitting up. Take that left hand and roll it all the way over and clap and then put the left hand on your eyes and look away. Twist at your waist. Beautiful. Good job, everybody. Don't hurt your back. Just twist the body. Extra large breathing. Extra breathing. Breathing into the bottom and the sides of those lungs. Oxygen. Your prana. Your life force. It's the deal. Roll back onto your backs. Give yourself a hug and choose which side you'd like to sit up to. Press down, you can roll to the left or roll to the right. Press and come up to a seated position that's comfortable for you. Easy. Sit easy. Your eyes are closed. Your body is relaxed. Your face is smooth. Your chin is parallel to the earth. And take 10 breaths. Imagine yourself rooted and earthbound and seated, nestled in the arms of the mothers. 10 breaths. In the morning, in the evening, 10 breaths. Just relax yourself down. Feel how elongated and elegant your spine is. Feel that trembling and tingling at the crown of your head. Two more breaths. And then easy, take your arms out, float up and overhead, inhale, palms come together, baby finger and thumbs, glue, other fingers burst open like a flower bud, like the blossom of the lotus, the petals. You make yourself a chalice, a cup, that full lotus mudra and slide humbly down your heart line. Feeling yourself aligned with the divine, filling up with that sweet nectar of the gods, the amrit. Exhale the fingertips softly together. Cup the palms around a precious flower blossom. Breathe in and breathe out. And again, we find ourselves in that ancient and sacred greeting. This place where we'll be straight from the heart, welcoming, greeting, bowing, honoring the light within ourselves and others, the sameness of our breath and the sameness of our blood. And we thank ourselves for being present and a part of. Thank you so much for celebrating this rebirth and Easter together with all of us. Abundance of love, abundance of good health. Namaste. Thank you so much. Namaste. Thank you all so much. Now remember also kids that I still have lots of those thick yoga mats. I'm happy to meet you in the parking lot of anywhere. You know, Albertsons or Staters or DAP or the dollar store. If you want a mat that's thick and fresh and clean with a carrier so that you can practice at home, you can practice by the pool. One of my friends just bought one because she's going to sleep in her car when she was driving north. So Remember I have the yoga mats, remember there's a tip jar, remember to stay tuned in and I just love you so much. Go on YouTube, we have uh, classes on YouTube also now. Namaste, namaste, have a great day, happy Easter, love you, happy Passover, happy, happy life, thank you, thank you so much, oh I love seeing you all, thank you so much, oh yum, hi. Thank you, thank you. Oh, hi. Hi, Miss. Hi, Laura. Hi, you guys. Love you all so much. The fun, I don't really know how to end it, actually. I guess end call button. Hi. I don't know all of you. I know some of you.